You're tuning in to Pastar Prime, a show powered by Squad Locker. Here are your hosts, retired Astros minor league star Tip Fairchild and former Patriots All-Pro Center, Dan Copen. Welcome to episode 11. I still don't know why we have to name... You know, this is my number. favorite number. I don't, I, so this is probably going to be my favorite episode. Your favorite number? It's always been. Always been. It's one more than 10. Everybody says do 10. Drop and do 10. I like do 11. That's just dumb. And I like the voice to just crack in half. <laughs> to start the show. Of course it's one more yeah, than we'll get 10. a little water. All right. Well, fair enough. Episode 11. Uh-huh. Big week. Super Bowl. So much has happened Super Bowl since the last happened. episode. Yeah. Super Bowl happened. Yep. Brady won seven. Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeat the Kansas City Chiefs, which we both... Both picked. Last you still week. owe me a hundred bucks. I do. For the that was evens. a fifty. Yeah, that was a fifty-fifty. Yep. There's you that. landed on that, so you win the hundred dollars. That's fine. That's I, big. I will get you to the hundred dollars. We have Danny Woodhead. Mm. Uh, unbelievable last minute. We had guess. Da- we had Danny Woodhead for ten minutes. Ten minutes today. I texted. I texted him, we had him earlier today. I was like, Hey, Danny, you know, would you come on the show? You know, mm-hmm. Super Bowl week. Get another football player. I don't really know anybody else, so I mean, that yeah, sort of worked it. out that way. He said, sure. I said, you know, can we can we do it between 3.30 and 5? <laughs> he thinks he'll be back, and he lives in the Midwest, so mm-hmm. 3.30 Eastern. Like, he it's got to be, go. it's got to be, and I even said, it, like, like, five, he, ten minutes. I didn't want to so bother. He's so busy. Dan yeah. rushes me in here, like, hey, we got ten minutes of wood, hey, we got to do it fast. He got on the uh, interview. He could have had 15 hours straight where he had nothing to do. He's retired. He's got a lot of time. <laughs> I, I so, was like, five, ten minutes. And he was like, yep. yeah, 3.30 Eastern. We're going to go on. I was like, oh, cool. We'll get you out of there. Well, we talked for 40 minutes. So yeah. uh, we had a lot of fun with him. Oh, though. he's funny. Yeah, he, this is a good time with him. And he's so, like, beloved here and had a great career for 10 years. Other places, too, with San Diego. So he's got some good ones. And he's just – he's he's one of the guys. He's That's what he feels like. There is you know no what I mean? doubt. He is one of the guys. Always, yep. had, always, always liked him uh, as a friend. Great teammate. Great player. Mm-hmm. Uh, tough, smart. Um, had you know vision. Uh, could see the hole when mm-hmm. you know maybe there wasn't a hole, and you just see Woodhead squeak out on the other side. So he was he was a great running back. Had an unbelievable career yep. at a Division two school. Um, yeah, shades. Uh, Shadron. Sh- Shadron. Shadron. Yeah, Shadron it. State. That's it. So, so we that's, learned yeah, that early. That's we got rough out. and rowdy. Um, we definitely have some Peloton talk. Just, just there, there is, there's a war happening right now. Are we going with this first? And I, yeah, let's let's go with this first. Let's go with this first because I have a question. I have a question. A war has broken so out. Last week we jump into the miles or whatever, and we didn't we didn't specify what was going to happen. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. I was like, okay, we're going to do miles for February after you start doing, you get yep. your bike, you're doing double sessions. I get it. You're excited to have it. Shredding weight. We did not have, like last week, if you play back the episode, there is no mention of a bet on miles. We didn't bring it up. No, but we started to talk I'm, about it somewhere. We did it two weeks ago. Two I, weeks I, ago. I, I'm okay. not saying yep. we did. Two yep. weeks ago, we talked about it, but we didn't formally do it. So right. okay, I get on the bike February one. Just smart. Just all right. I'm yeah, gonna, you're I'm, I'm going to put some miles in. Yep. I don't know what's going to happen. So we ended up showing Max, our producer, mm-hmm. and I don't know who controls Instagram. Is it both of you? Because yeah. some so things come out. I'm jumping on, but he's fast. He's good on right. it. Like he's the Instagram guy. So on our text chain, I think I sent the you know the numbers. Uh, mm-hmm. Here's the rankings of the miles because you do a February yep. challenge. You can see whatever's going on. I swear to God, thirty minutes later. It's up on Instagram in the story is like the challenge is on. And oh, I was like, war is okay, on. it's, it's happening. Cause <laughs> n- we didn't, we didn't really say we're definitely uh, doing it. There was talk of yeah. it. So it is definitely happening. It was me, I think. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Cause and that's how I found out. That's how I found out the <laughs> bet was happening. And let me tell you, since that moment, it has been, it is all out war between Dan and I. We are up. He's up over it. We're eight days into the month right now, or I guess nine days into the month. But the day's not over. There's plenty of hours to ride. Dan's at 315 miles. <laughs> I'm at 220-something with a full-time job running a sales organization. Dan at home just pounding the miles while I'm in here working my butt off. That's okay. That's they, okay. They got to count extra Every, for you. No, no, no. Everybody no. wants to set no, a handicap. No, 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 no. no Max. Absolutely not. Absolutely Everybody wants to set a handicap on that thing. Take your handicap and throw it out the window. Is, is everybody I'm, Max? 
Is every, that? You, everybody? Every, no, everybody. Who else has said it's all, like no, a handicap? I've, I have 10 messages on my phone right now. They're like, oh, this should be handicapped. Like, like there's, he has a lot more time to do it. And I was like, hey, you know what? That's fine. Like, he has he has the ability to do that. That's that's because of his past. He can go. He can put more miles on the bike. He's got more time. Let him do it. I'm still gonna take you down. <laughs> and I'm I'm 80 I'm miles sorry. behind right now. Guess what I'm doing tonight? I'm putting about 70 miles on the bike. I'm gonna ride to Maine and back. To you're, Maine. <laughs> you're 90 miles. Yeah. You're 90 well, miles. I, I'm gonna catch you. And here's the thing that he, that Dan did. This is the only thing. The only time I'm ever gonna bring it up. He, Benedict Arnold, me on Saturday night. We watched Rough and Rowdy with Jose Canseco, who took a dive, which was hilarious, kind of. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rough and Rowdy's hilarious. Bar no, I didn't do it Saturday did. night. I did it Sunday. Friday night. Friday night, that's right. I did it Friday. No, we watched Rough and Rowdy Friday night. It was Saturday night that you did it. Yes. <laughs> so, but I, did, I didn't Benedict Arnie because I was talking to you on the phone. We were talking on the phone. And you, I said, I truce. Said, I said, truce, ceasefire. Ceasefire then, for the night because we both had already put in forty plus miles. And, and, <laughs> when, and when you got like your last words to me is like, I'm not sure I can. I, That's true. I, I, I'm not sure I can That's agree true. to that. I might jump back on the bike. So I was like, okay. Two minutes later, I send him a picture text with a beer poured, which I didn't see until and the he next didn't morning. See it. I, didn't I see wake it up the morning. next morning and Dan did ninety minutes max and rode thirty more <laughs> miles, and I'm like, this guy is going down. So I put a big day up on Sunday morning before the Super Bowl. I'm just riding the bike. I'm flying. I'm putting miles on. I'm shredding weight. I'm <laughs> not even wearing clothes sweating. on the thing anymore. I'm just, just sweating it out. And here he is texting me during the Super Bowl. We're watching Brady in the Super Bowl. I've got my Brady shirt on. I'm sitting on the chair having a beer. What a night. What a night. Dan's probably at home doing the same thing. He texts me at the end of the game. <laughs> A picture of him on the bike, and he rode it the entire time. <laughs> three, three and a half quarters. The entire Super Bowl. I stopped so, at halftime to make some wings. Yeah, well, I made wings too, but I did not ride the bike during that. So I am down right now, but I do know that you were going away for a couple that's, days to that, ski. Th- that is, that's, that's what's scaring me. And I'm going to run you down. That's what's scaring me. And the bet, remember, is jumping in uh, at Narragansett Beach. Maybe we'll tell you when the live time is. Maybe we'll have an audience for that, Max. Oh, yeah. We, come we sure will. I will have – if I'm going in, I'm, I'm, I'm selling ads, ads for this body. I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting hashtags on this body. News, we're going nuts. News cameras, drones. Yeah, yeah, we're jumping in the water, or one of us is. One of us is. Yeah, one of us is jumping in the water. We'll see who, uh, we'll see who Look, comes out on top. There's, the there's – well, I mean, I've been working here since September. September. Do you yeah, think I have? Do you yeah. think I have enough vacation time accrued to, you know, maybe get a couple of weeks off and just dedicate it? To yeah, I think. Yeah, it's it, it doesn't accrue. You have a uh, squad locker here. You have unlimited vacation time, unlimited sick time. That's how our uh, that's policy a, works. That, that's just a friendly con. Remember the hashtag past our prime is the Peloton hashtag. Follow us on Instagram while you're at it. Past our prime show, show, and you'll see like some of this, you know, thing. The third place person, you know, one of our, our I guess our assistant captain of the group of the past our pa- prime tag, Dan Marshall, is at 22 miles. Yeah, he's close. So he's <laughs> he's gonna have he's to close. catch up. I think he yeah. was. I think he was down at nine o'clock on February one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think so, he was in third place. Exactly. So and this he is, might live there. This is this is, but I don't know if I could ever do this again. This is starting there. Hurt. I, I think that we probably should have put a cap on the number of rides. I think it should have been, you know, hey, let's 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 do something where like we match up against each other. Maybe we'll do that eventually. But I tell you what, this that thing would be more fair super addicting. They should be they should be this should be uh you know no free ads, but basically we're giving Peloton free ads because this thing's incredible. Max bought a bike. Yes, he did. Are you ready, Max? Oh yeah, April fifteenth. No, it's going to be faster. No, I just want. No. I just put. A, I just bought a bunch of stock because I heard that they're putting a hundred million bucks into expediting the shipment of these things. They're going to get back to seven day delivery, so be ready. Well, yours took what? They got four days. Mine to took be nine that. weeks. <laughs> so, so I already know another person who's bought a bike. Like people are buying bikes left and right. Ryan Reed, one of our first guests, he's got a bike coming. Well, I mean, so I'm you, telling you, you got you to gotta stay inside. This right is now. gonna. This is gonna be a thing. This is. I mean, it's already a huge thing. We're not making it any bigger. But no, no. We, this we've is, got this some is, good battles. This is this is more about the competition because yeah. this is what, as an ex athlete or you know, just me. And I know you. You just feed off of that competition. Oh, yeah. And I remember talking to uh, Troy Brown after he retired. It's like mm-hmm. you miss that competition. Have something. I was still playing when he came in and talked mm-hmm. again, but you miss that competition piece uh, in your life. And he'd say, "I I used to do when he retired, pick up back 
basketball games yeah. on Sunday. On Sunday, because it was game day, and that's what his body was programmed it's to ready do. Ready to go. Now, right. I, I wouldn't do a pickup basketball game. I thought about it. and then That's dis- an Achilles way to happen. And then <laughs> dismissed it instantly. Like, the knee's gone. The Achilles is yeah. gone. I'm ankle. doesn't matter. I'm yeah. not I'm not playing pickup basketball. But this is actually, like, a way to, you know, get out some of that steam and, yeah. and just and let it fly. So, you know, you said you you would die on the bike before losing. I'm telling you. I, 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 you've never meant, met a more mentally tough person than me. I you actually, will not, you I, will not win. Without you around, I said that to somebody today, our CEO, founder, Gary Goldberg. I said, uh, Dan has another gear that I didn't know he could go to. <laughs> And you talk about, like, you know, pro guys and, like, this is kind of how it works. Like, there's another gear in there sometimes, and this is what propelled people. So I'm prepared to go to that next gear too, Dan. <laughs> so mine just has to happen around 8 p.m. to midnight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been doing it, pal. You have. You did last night, but I caught you in an hour and a half today. You did, and I'm going to do an hour and a half tonight okay. or maybe two and a half hours, and maybe. we're going to get there because right. I'm watching uh, – 17 Firefly Lane on Netflix. <laughs> it's a good time. It's, hey, a, I, it's a great show. I'm I, watching it on I Netflix on, while I go. I caught up on Peaky Blinders. You know, you I'm, I'm yeah. getting the stuff in. It's perfect. It is a, it is a good thing to do. All right, Super Bowl. That's, I, I, I really don't want to go on the ski trip, though. By the, I really don't want to go because this is right, well, this is going to impact me going be, forward. I, my goal was to get as far ahead right now as I possibly can yeah. to make it. You mentioned that you might make a call. Get, and I'm actually hey, worried that there's going to be a Peloton in his hotel do room. Have, do, you, do you have a bike in your <laughs> yeah, uh, gym, please? Exactly. If not, can we send one up? Yeah, can we get one there? Uh, all right, Super Bowl, Tom Brady. Seven. I can't time, even. T- or t- I'd say Tom Brady, but it's a team game, and obviously that team played yeah. unbelievable, the Buccaneers. It, it was, the defense was so good. It really was. For the Bucs. Like, I – it just felt like I, I remember texting this to Dan during the game. I was like, "Is this like a JV team offensive line or something?" Which it kind of was. It was a lot of backups in. They had two backup tackles, and then somebody was in a different spot too, right in the line. So like sometimes that can throw some things off. Oh, when, you got that, when, when you got that many guys down, you you, you put the best guys out there got, and where yeah, they're the best. Exactly. Out, so so the it right, was right guard might move the left. The right guard, right tackle might move the left tackle. It's it, just how it falls. It, it felt like, and and there was a stat that Mahomes. Ran for 500 yards, 450, I think, before being sacked or pressured or something, right? Like, so he ran like for 500 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Basically. Take the rushing yards out. Yes, take the take his rushing, take his yards, rushing out. yards out. He scrambled for 450 yards. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, like I mean, he was just he was just uh, on the run the entire time, and that defense was just locked down. It was so cool to watch. And then Brady just did his thing, being like a. Was Super Bowl winning champion quarterback just controlled the first half? He didn't even have to really do much in the second half. It was just, hey, make sure you took some possession away, and nothing crazy would happen. Be it smart. Was like, don't turn the ball yeah, over. Don't don't want don't go. Don't worry about launching it deep. Don't worry about even like get a first down or two in each one of the drives, and that's it. That's all you had to do just yeah. to be able to chew six minutes. You know, look, what Tom Brady brings to a team is I don't even know how you put it into words or. Or mm-hmm. or quantify anything, you know. It's just like mm-hmm. I don't I don't understand. Like this guy elevates everybody around him. Yep, offensive line, wide receivers, and the defense, and the special teams. Like everybody plays better with a guy like that on your team. And I think you saw, you know, going into the game, they were you know one seven straight or something like that. Mm-hmm. They, Yo, were the, they, they were the they they were the hot team. Yeah, there's no doubt about. It. They went into New Orleans. They went into Green Bay, Breeze, Rodgers, MVP, down. Now they're getting the Chiefs minus two tackles, and that defense is fast. Yep. Like you talk about a defense that you want to match up a t- uh, with the Chiefs, especially with uh, who they got, David and White mm-hmm. as linebackers, and they can they can fucking run. Oh yeah, it was the 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 whole entire game. It was just like that game was over. Oh. It was over. But he it, was but he was like fifteen for nineteen in the first half, yeah. three touchdowns, you know, hundred and whatever yeah. yards. Um, but you saw the transformation early on. Like it was like they were the same team because they had a great defense last year. They had yep. a lot of play playmakers last year. Mm-hmm. They did. Jameis Winston threw thirty five interceptions. Yeah, you got to have a guy that, that controls the game. That doesn't happen. But they didn't play smart either. They were making stupid yep. penalties yep. all over the place. You know, Very giving great. away first downs, giving away possessions, turnovers, all this stuff. And you saw that early on in this year. Oh. And we're going to talk to Woodhead about it, and he mentions like, yeah, you can throw the COVID, COVID, uh, you know, off season out of it. 
I don't think you can Mm -hmm. just because that team never had a chance to come together. They were still playing mentally stupid early on and giving away games and, you know, those dumb penalties. It it took them a bit. He got to control of that thing, and it was just once he took control of it, they were 7-5. and It was game over after that. It was like, okay, I'm here for one reason. It's the winner Super Bowl, and here we go. You know what it was? It was almost like Bill, like what Bill always says. Like, you know, we play Mm -hmm. after Thanksgiving. Those first two months are like an extension of training camp. And in in COVID year, those words can never be truer. That's true. Yep. How about the shit that Bill's taking right now? He's taking a lot. He shouldn't have to take it all. I mean, it's oh, he's taking a lot. And, and they're going to be great. They're going to be great eventually. Again, don't. I'm not even worried about it. Like right now, I'm a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not a Tampa Bay fan. I'm a Pats but, fan. But you're kind of a Tampa Bay fan. It, it feels like we've got here. seven championships. I, did you? Not, did you? Not, did you I'm not Tampa? Saying that did you wear Tampa? England. Oh yeah, I had a 12 shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> I, wore, I, I had a t-shirt on. I, I, wear, I don't so. wear jerseys. I, I wore the worked. actual shirt, like the actual jersey, the jersey. <laughs> we ordered, we ordered one for the kid, and it came in a day late. I was like, Mom. oh yeah, I had it on, and mine was on. Um, I tell you, the la- you might not have seen this thing because you were on the peloton the whole time, but you see the little things when you're actually sitting there paying attention to the game, you know, watching your guy, like I was. My daughter said um, to me, nine years old, and she said, "Don't get off until you get another ten miles." Uh, see, that's. That's all. Okay. okay. All right. I'm going to get the family invested on my side. We're going to go win this thing. <laughs> but I saw with 10 seconds left, 30 seconds left, it was before the last snap, or maybe before the second to last snap, Brady got into the huddle. Oh, yeah. And just got into those guys about, like, you know, something along the – there was a few choice words in there, but it was, like, way to go. And he was clapping and freaking out. I saw you post it, Max. I saw you put that on Instagram. And I, I saw it live. And I, like, immediate chills went, like, <laughs> like through my whole body. I was like, Did it that move? must have it been. Moved it moved bit. a little <laughs> <laughs> Like, just chills shot through. And I was so, I was like, man, like, that must be a feeling. If uh, you're in that huddle right then, like, that's all that guy wanted. That's all everybody in that huddle wanted. But that's all he wanted. No, you know, and they no. went after it, and they got it. So they, I mean, that was nuts. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to win every week in the NFL. You yeah. know, yep. it's a cliche and all and all that shit, but it is true. There's a yeah. lot of stuff that goes in, a lot of a lot of work, and you got to go out there and execute on Sunday. So it's hard, and you're playing mm-hmm. against guys that are getting paid a lot of money, that were the top guys on their college team. So yep. the best of the best are are out there, and it's it's hard to win football games. But when you get to that last point, and mm-hmm. you know it's coming. Not Arthur Blank. Yeah. Not 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 that one where you're coming down to the field in the third quarter up twenty eight to three and they show him coming out there. I was like, Oh, that's probably not a good look mm-hmm. right now. But fourth quarter and you're taking a knee and you get that and, and the yeah. confetti's flying. And I know, shit. you already know oh, it's oh man. I bet I can't even imagine. I that. wish I wish I did see I wish I can go back and do that. Again. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> uh, you've done it, so you can go back memory time. I mean, there's a lot just, of people that are fans. The, just elation. I mean, everything yeah. that goes into it, it's a long season, and yeah. you know your body goes through much. You're you're mentally exhausted. I saw two stats that I laughed at. Uh, one of them was Brady in his first 172 games of his career, and his second 172 games of his career. He has the second. Ident- second. He has the identical record. Oh no way. Yeah, and it's like a 747, 757 win four. percentage. He's got four more bowls it's, at the end. Yeah, it's just his record is the same for both halves of his career, which is wild, like identical to the game. So you want you want consistency out of you can't you get want more consistent you want consistency out of anybody in any 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 <laughs> it's any wild. any professional right field. That's what you want. I, I took a I took a picture of it because I was like, this can't be accurate. It's one thirty two and forty, and one thirty two and forty. So a seven sixty seven win percentage in both f- halves of his his career identical. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic! First, yeah, so wild stat. The second wild stat I saw um, was the streaker that ran on the field, which I think and put me on record for this. You got to show when people run on the field because I think it's hilarious. It is hilarious, and but, I know why you but can't that's, because but that's it's encouraging like, people. To yeah, because they're gonna th- start throwing yeah. ads and do it, doing the whole thing. But man, was that funny and the. Call by, I think it's Kevin Harlan did the radio call of it where he said, Hey, he's on the 30. He's on the <laughs> Take your bra off. Or whatever he said to him was so fun. I was dying laughing at that. But I also just saw something, can't be true. I hope it is, though, that this guy placed a prop bet that there'd be a streaker on the field 
at oh. plus like seventy five hundred. He put like three grand on it no and way. made like three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars, and it cost him a thousand bucks for the night in jail. You know, so like he netted out like three. Oh, can't be accurate. But man, can you imagine that? I think that's just brilliant. What a great way to do it. Who who takes that? What book takes that bet first of all? But that's hilarious if that's how it worked. So are you shitting me? I know. I just saw that today. Oh, it that can't be, be true. I'll, if it is true, like what is what a funny story that is. If that's true, I mean that guy's brilliant. Yeah, what a move. Yeah, because I mean that's not going to stay on your record. No one cares about it later no, on. You mean you, you know? can never hey, go to a Super pay, Bowl again? By pay, pay, pay okay. the fine. You made it, and you yeah, made pay off the mortgage. Yeah, call it a day. That's fantastic. Yeah, so funny. I cried laughing seeing that. Did you, I hope it's true. Did you? All right. Did you happen to notice what color Gatorade bath? Uh, it was orange, BA? right? Was no. it orange? No. Was it that, not orange? That was incorrect. Oh, no. I was thinking about Andy Reid. Andy Reid was orange. Was it red? No. What color incorrect was it? Was again. It yellow? You want to keep going? No. Was it blue? <laughs> it was blue. All right. <laughs> oh, what my other, God. What, we, what a guess tip. Good, good job. <laughs> yeah, great work. Yeah, I didn't see the Gatorade bath. I was too right. busy crying. I would, I, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> I was crying tears of tears of joy. Um, uh, halftime commercial. I thought the best one was the Seinfeld one because there's so much nostalgic nostalgia to it because it was George Costanza, you know, with a Costanza sweatshirt, and it was changing faces. But the song in the background, if for people who were Seinfeld fans, was the voicemail recording that he's that he left was "Believe It or Not." Whoa, yeah, yeah. George, George can, isn't at home. George isn't at yeah. home. But, so, Where could he be? Yeah, I cried laughing when that came on i was dying and they're like lo- probably not a lot of people caught that you know because it's like the young generation didn't get that i mean so. i i, Max I, I do yeah. remember that commercial now and i yeah. wasn't on the bike i was making wings uh but i do remember and i, I didn't i didn't catch didn't pick the, up on i that. didn't catch yeah. the song but i'm glad yeah. you, i'm gonna go back and watch it yep. other than that i didn't re- the commercials i think I didn't see any I, of that were that great. Yeah, it wasn't really. I mean, I, it was. They were my charging what thing. five point five, five point six yeah. for you gotta thirty get second crafty. You They should have. I mean, it should have been good. There was like ninety six thousand or ninety six yeah. million people that watched the thing. We need a squad locker fifteen second spot max uh, one of these times or ten seconds. You know, I'll work on it. Wow, your community with on demand custom apparel done. I did that in three seconds. Like, what does that cost? Let's do it next time. I'm in. Just a million. So just a cool million. Just for a that. million. You can take it out of my salary. Yeah, people get it though. People get it though. I mean, people understand that message. So, I mean, that's is that is that what we got covered? Do we want to cover anything else? I mean, the Danny Woodhead interview was incredible. Yeah, I think I think I, we get to Danny I because really we were we, we expected to go thirty or forty minutes and then grab him for ten, and he, he would have talked all day. Yeah. He's also a, a plus one point eight handicap. He can swing. That's He's incredible. A, he is a good golfer. So there's a golf trip in the future for sure. But I mean, Brady's got seven. You texted him. I'm sure he texted you back. <laughs> you know? Do you want to? Do you yeah. want to read it? No, I don't want to read it. <laughs> like, oh, maybe we'll just we'll, we'll one of these days we'll just pretend to call him or maybe real time call him and see if we catch his voicemail. You know, just a and maybe it's a voicemail that reads the number. Max, we'll write that down. If I can. I can tell you that it's not his voice on the voicemail. <laughs> It's good just okay. All right, so Dan rubbing it in now. <laughs> um, that party was probably a good time. You've been in a few of those parties or a couple parties on the wins. Yeah, I, you know, and the, the I, losses I, still. Have I a don't party. know how good that party would have been though. It seemed like they went on a boat or something. I saw a lot of pictures. Oh, really? Looks like they went off on a boat. I saw some pictures with with uh, just the the cluster that was in the COVID protocol and tell. checking. And no, I saw some fans. I saw some. I saw some people that you know. But if, but um, whoever went to the game. Yeah, was in the protocol. And oh, been oh, tested. really? So they probably oh, just yeah. had, had a secure side, and yep. yeah, all right, everybody's good here. Yep, we can handle. But yeah, those winning is much better. I mean, does that, yeah. does that get any more obvious? And Tampa Bay, I mean, they're turning into Champ Champa Bay. Yeah, I Light, mean, they've got lightning. The lightning. They almost won the World Series. I want to say somebody had a ticket that had all four champions on it. Lakers. Oh, wow. Lakers, yeah. uh, that's Do- a good, Laker, that's a good bet. Lakers, Dodgers, Lightning, yep. and Buccaneers. Wow. I, I think that I think yep. that was a big pay, big that's cash a, the out grand as well. slam. Yeah. Oh, and guess who's back? Shady. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> some shady. Dan with some culture there. Um, no, Brooks Kepka's back. Oh, he had to come back. Won the waste management. Unbelievable. Chipped in on 17. That's my guy right there. I was fired up. I started doing push-ups. I started it, doing arms. I was like, I gotta get the arms ready for golf season. Tears of joy. Yeah, yeah. You know what you yeah. had? Not tears of joy, but first Masters commercial I saw this uh, last weekend too. 
Ooh, that's that's, that's how common. you know. Like when the PJ starts out in Hawaii, dun, 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 and then they get to California, dun, 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 dun. and then they get to Arizona, and then they yep. then the Masters commercials start. Yep. Then you know that warm weather's coming, mm-hmm. and the golf clubs are coming out. That's right. Hey, and the Peloton music. We didn't talk about this. Absolutely bangs. I get fired up. Max hit the song for me. For you know, it was just holding on to a hero. <laughs> I was, I was flying to this. Is this song. the movie one? Oh yeah, I was. Fl- I, I I think I was up around one thirty on cadence on that song. I was standing up. I was flying. So yeah. I'm coming for you. You can come. I mean, yeah, I, it, I'm on my way. You can come all you want. It's just my goal is to get out as far ahead as I possibly can before. Okay. Before before I tell my family. I'm not going with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you got brand new skis yeah, too. What an investment! I'm, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, honey, there's other things that are more imp- yeah. important right now. Well, and don't worry. I, number it's one be on the list to catch is you. me not jumping into 35 degree ocean. We're only gonna be halfway through the month when you come back. By oh. the way, so we got a lot of time, and we're gonna put some miles on. Max, we're getting tuned up. You're gonna get tuned up. We are on our way past our prime on that hashtag past our prime show on Instagram. Remember, by the way, like, subscribe, rate, follow, review. rate, review, share. share. Let's get this thing humming because we got some good guests coming yeah, up yeah, too. Yeah. So and we got Woodhead right now. So Woodhead. let's go to him and then talk to everybody soon. No, everybody knows that face. Everybody, he's, It's Will. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's Will. <laughs> We're going to no, just put Will this there. Is, this yeah. is the pride of Shadron State. Do you know where Shadron State is? Uh, I don't. But is it in Nebraska? It is. Okay. Good guess. You know, okay. it, it's a guess because you just asked where, you, where he's living, where you're living now. So <laughs> that was pretty That's smart. Fair. And I was just like, why? I mean, why? First of all, you got to come up back up here, you know, or in Florida in the summer or somewhere in the summer warm and then up here for the for the winter. See, oh, no, other way around. Florida for the winter. Yeah, I was going to say. I was yeah, like, wait a second. Up for there the winter. for the summer. South, yeah. south for the winter. That's how yeah. it works. Well, let's introduce him, Dan, first. Right. So we Shadron can, State, we former can, NFL yeah. running back. Um, if you, if he's not on the bike, if he's not on the golf course, or hanging out with his family, he is co-hosting out of nowhere with uh, another former NFL uh, lineman. Not, you know, he's not a lineman. He's too small for that. Yeah, uh, Matt Slauson. But uh, Danny Woodhead. Hey, buddy. How are we doing, bro? I'm good. Good to see you. Great what? to see you too. I think the great last, to great I, to great to see Tip too. Yeah, oh, it's so yeah. great to see. Well, Will tip, popped up as you the love name to see on tips, his screen. Don't you? You love the tip. <laughs> Just that's the tip. what I'm. That's my preference. <laughs> yeah. But so, like, when I knew Tip was joining us, I was like, "Hmm, this well, makes well, sense that I'm on here." Yeah. What's that going to be? I We're just. Not sure. I mean, when I texted you earlier, and I was like, "Hey, from three thirty to five, can you come on the show?" <laughs> like your response was. 3.30 Eastern, like it's got to be right at 3.30, like you're actually busy. <laughs> and then and then we get on here, we're talking for a few minutes, and you, I have nothing to do. So what the hell's well, that? Yeah, you're well, like, I'm good till 7 tonight. tonight. You yeah. said something 3.30 to 5, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll jump on at 3.30. Because, bro, but you Eastern, know how it is. Just make sure it's as Eastern. Of, Eastern. Yep. As, as, as of late, because of Tom being in the Super Bowl, I guarantee – I guarantee you are too. People want to talk to you all the time. And you're like, Oh my gosh. Like, first of all, Tom doesn't even remember me. Probably. That's he, pro- he, that's probably he, true. He, then, he then, then you're, remember, then you're uh, the wrong person to have on today. Yeah. Like 30, <laughs> we really missed on this guest today. <laughs> yeah. Like 39. That's the only thing I remember about him. <laughs> Cause it's um, a weird number. Yeah. Why would ever anybody ever choose 39? I'll tell you why someone would choose 39 is because my other options were like 46 and 47 or something. Yeah, that's a tough and numbers. I'm already I, to, at a disadvantage being a 5'8", squatty, white running back. Yeah. It would look terrible if I had a 46 or a 47. I, I would release me right then and there just looking at me. So they're not mm. going to put a number 20 or a 34 on you? No chance? No. No, they, they were like, nah, get this guy... I, it was just like get this guy a random number. We we don't know if he's going to be here longer than a week, anyways. Mm. Yeah, because that's, I mean, the standard shelf life of a New England Patriots player back in that time, especially, you know, of my stature was ah one, two, three weeks maybe. Yep. So it's like we'll just give him thirty nine. I will I will say this, and when we first brought you in after week one of the two thousand ten season, right? Who we were playing the Jets the next week. Right. So yeah. everybody on the line when we come in, actually Scar would be the ones like, all right, anybody tell anybody, anybody know where Shadron State is? 
nobody had a goddamn clue where it was. <laughs> well, we're getting this guy, Danny Woodhead, in this week, and he's from Shattern State. And he won the Heisman two years in a row, basically for D3, right? So he's D2, but it's the is same it D3? thing. Is it D3? Oh, you no. should. You're, five nine's D2. Five eight's yeah, D3. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all the same. All right. So he comes in, and he's like, all right, we're getting Woodhead. Every one of us basically thought it was one of those weak deals. Like, hey, let's just see what he knows. He'll be gone the next week. Practice team guy, scout yeah. team guy. Scout, no, no, scout, come in here and get no, it. When, it was when you literally, you, yeah, yeah. When you get signed, come up, in and give us info, guy. right? Right. Did oh, Bill yeah, bring you? Info. Did Bill Bill bring you in and just say, hey, see you now? I was like, what? What do we have here? He didn't even. So he didn't even talk to me about it. So I get in there. I'm like, oh, thank God, I have a chance to make it to the next week. I might get two two checks out of this. So he, I was like, it's not to figure out the jets and i was like okay so i could breathe a little bit deeper and then and then uh kevin gets hurt in the jets game and i remember walking in and i just i'm just meeting bill like hey like don't hurt me I'm i don't know what's going on and i walk in there and he has a 1972 sweatshirt that looks like his dog chewed off and then some shorts that one leg one one was almost to the knee the other one was halfway in the middle of his thigh and i'm like and he's barefoot and you got you guys we had just lost to the jets kevin got hurt and i'm like oh no i walk in there and bill goes how, how you doing i'm i'm doing fine bill i'm scared of you and he's he's just like yeah so uh, uh we'll get you out there I, I maybe you have an opportunity to play, I guess, a little bit sooner than we would have thought. Um, but uh, yeah, and it's like, Bill, what do I say? Yeah, I thought like, you were gonna I, come I have here. no idea, and I'm the most scared guy in the world trying to get a NFL career started, and I'm and I'm terrified. I go, all right, yeah, yeah, and, he, and then he starts going on again. He goes, yeah, we watched watched your film. Uh, you had a few good catches on third down and couple good runs um uh, so uh yeah we'll you know we'll, we'll let you practice and see what happens like if that's not a resounding like i'm really getting a chance yeah. i don't know what is i know right yeah what you didn't then, say though is the sweatshirt he had on said shattered state on it, it, was, it been, yeah yeah it was, i think it, it was that's, so that's what it, and it had yeah. shattered state 39 yeah so <laughs> so that was a big thing um but honestly it was a bunch of those, con like, it just kept happening back and forth. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to leave <laughs> or like, when's this conversation in? But it was like one of the weirdest times of my whole career, but it ended up working out. So, I mean, I'm that, thankful for it. Was that just like a Jets move? Because we didn't know who you were coming in. But when you got on the field and we could see what you what you could do, you know, you're, you're downhill runner, even though you're that small. No offense. Right. No, it's fine. You got, no, you got, you got, no, you got hands and you yeah. got you, grit. And this is all serious. That man has vision. He can see the vision. hole Ooh, like where that. most people yeah. can't see it. And he can squeak through and burst through and make the uh -huh. extra yard. So what we saw in that first week in that first game, you were there. What the fuck were the jets thinking? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, the, it was one of those things we were. Uh, we, so it was Sean green, LT me. And then, uh, Joe McKnight was was the other back, mm -hmm. and they just drafted Joe. And I I felt like I know people are going to laugh, but that I could have contributed to that team. Now their offense, I didn't. They didn't do a great job of using people to their strengths all the time. Yeah, they had that so reputation. That, was, that wasn't going to be a, a great situation. But man, I had a really good camp and. I knew if I got released, this is this is what I always said. I want to make them look like idiots. Right. Oh, you Ricky remember, Vondum. You Rick Vondum in Major League. When it, uh, yeah, you know, like I when just, he goes into I the office, he's stupid. like, "I'm gonna catch on somewhere else, and I'm gonna <laughs> stick it." <laughs> and he throws the ball off the yeah. locker. Yeah. That's that's the move. Yeah. Well, because when I left too, whether it be coaches, GM, or whatever, there were two people, and I'm not going to name names. I mean, I kind of just what about, did, what about initials? But, yeah, but we're, we're, we're talking and it was basically like, Hey Danny, you gave a good old try. I'm glad you were able to kind of live out your dream. And I felt like when I was looking at those two individuals, I felt like I was looking right through them 
and I was so angry. Um, at the t- I mean, I was thankful for the opportunity to get, you know, on a team or whatever, but then to come in and treat me like a charity case, it's like, you just fired me. Yeah. Don't treat me like a charity case. Just, I would rather have you say, Hey, you sucked. You weren't very good deuces. I would I would have liked that much better instead of like, isn't, you know, the last two years, it's been really, really cute. You know, it really has. It's funny because I heard the go same on, sentence when I do. got released from yeah. Houston. It was, hey, you gave it a good try. Yeah. <laughs> like, good Thanks work out there. Thanks for coming. There's no spot for you anymore, but we really appreciate it having you here. <laughs> that, that, that's what it felt like. And it was it was like, yeah, we we really liked you, but you just, you know, just a fun route. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you're Rudy now. You know? Mm-hmm. And, and, yeah, Danny. technical uh, Danny difficulty. Do they have, we had a do technical they, difficulty. Do they not in have Wi Fi in Nebraska? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it seems to be working good. Yeah, it's well, back up. But there back you up go. And run. Oh, okay, yeah. but yeah, it was just it was a it was a weird deal, and I just wanted to I wanted to make him look dumb. Mm-hmm. Well, I like that. That's I, a chip I, on the shoulder. That I, sounds I, like pick one ninety nine. Successfully went out and did that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, well, I appreciate it. I, you know, going back to that week, it's funny you said that about Scar. And going back to that week, I was terrified, and I felt like I was studied till like 11 o'clock every night. And I was at the facility at 6. And somehow Billy O trusted me with two minutes, which I didn't understand that. I, I But I was like, all right, you, you better go figure it out. Um, but all I remember is freaking Tom – Every time I got in the huddle, it's like I murdered someone. He would just yell, like, telling me how I didn't yell the personnel loud enough, whatever. And I I grew to, I don't want to say hate him that week, but I didn't like him. I really didn't. And I was like, who is this guy? I mean, I know he's the greatest of all time, but, like, I didn't do anything to your family. Mm. Like, Like, what are you doing? And... I think after that week or maybe it was the next week in Miami or might've even been after Baltimore, but then I think more than anything this, and I appreciate this so much now looking back, I think he was just testing me. Like, can I trust Mm -hmm. this guy in a game? Like I'm going to yell at him and do everything I can to ruin him in front of everyone else. And we'll see how he takes it. Let's see if he pees down his leg. Let's see if he pees down his leg. And yeah, like I remember in him in fright. Baltimore. In the Baltimore game, it was game three that I was there. And he throws a check down at my feet. And I remember him yelling at me. Like, look crazy. And it's a national game. Everyone's watching it. And I remember him, like, just trying to ruin me. And I didn't know you weren't supposed to do this. But I looked at him, and I... I treated him like he was the GM at the New York Jets, and I just shook my head. Like, don't do that. Ooh. I didn't know you weren't supposed well, to do it, but for some reason after that, we had a great relationship. Yeah, It ended up, it ended yeah. up working out. Nice. I, I, think, like I, I think it worked out pretty well. Yeah, the, it, did. Uh, <laughs> it did. How, do you remember every game? Because you're going one, two, three, yeah, four, you're, five. Geez. Like, what? Oh, yeah, I, what happened? Uh, what did you eat for dinner that night? I know, <laughs> I know. No, I, I remember, I remember a decent amount of them. I do. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I actually find, bro. Like, I didn't really get an opportunity in New York, so it was like, oh, I finally, I'm finally getting a chance. Yeah. How many total seasons did you play? How many was it? I, I had ten. Ten. Three in New England. Woo. Three in New England. The majority in in the Chargers, San yeah. Diego. Yeah. You were. Yeah. I mean, you were the fort, one of the fortunate fortunate ones. You didn't get cut by Bill. You chose to leave. Yeah. Wow. How does that make you feel? Because I got cut by him, and there's a hell of a lot more people that got <laughs> cut. You know, got cut by him than you know actually went on. Well, chose to leave. Well, it was it was kind of a weird deal, and and maybe because I had been cut, like in New York and been fired multiple times. Like I didn't really care. Like, I, yeah, you gave me my shot, but there is something too in new England, especially in the back situation, they can kind of keep your number lower. Mm-hmm. And I didn't love that about my last year. I didn't get a ton. I mean, I had a, a really, really good year, but I knew there were reasons that maybe I wasn't getting as much burn, yeah. you know, as, as a back or a player would call it. So 
I already went into the off season kind of annoyed. And I was like, well, if, if they offer more money, then I'll stay. If they offer the same as someone else, I'm probably deucing out of there. And that's more off of principle is kind of how I was. I'm just a person of principle. And it's like, if you're going to do that to try to keep my number down or whatever, and there's a lot of incentive incentivized contracts there is, and they can control, you know, what you make. That's just kind of, I was like, you know, I'm not afraid to go somewhere else. I just wasn't. Mm -hmm. And, um, everyone's like, oh yeah, but so many people leave and end up, you know, not having good years at their other place. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> yeah, not no listen shit. to that. Yeah. I can't <laughs> believe, I, yeah, they, they say that all the time, but you know, so many people come into New England too, and it doesn't work out, but you don't hear that right. much about that. A lot exactly. of people come there though and make a name. Like this is, this no, is a, a lot of people, I would say, I would say a lot of people come in there and like, um, you know, reconstruct their name yeah that's or a better make, way to make put a, it. Better a better name for themselves because they had difficulty Corey dillon randy moss yep. you know there's a few other guys you know adelius thomas didn't work out yeah, or, or maybe not a, a, a bunch of wide not receivers even necessarily a troublemaker but more like you know somebody that came in like i mean really like welker was that way right like amandola was somewhat that way like yep. people come in and like you know them but then you come in and then you know like you really know them yeah like once right you, once you win 12 well, games well, a year, 13 yeah, you games win. a year yeah And I think because I knew that my playing time was being a little bit more controlled, I knew that I was like, well, if I get an opportunity and I get the same amount or even more playing time, I'm going to do, I felt like I was going to do the same thing. And Mm -hmm. I was, I was super fortunate to, to play in San Diego with Phil and end up having probably, I mean, everyone remembers me for the Patriots because the Patriots were always good, you know, Yeah. but probably my two best careers were in San Diego. Um, and you know, that, I mean, I ended up loving my time there. Did we win? No. One year we made the playoffs and did well, but we just never could get over the hump. And I think that's, I think that's also a testament. I mean, Dan will agree to the culture that Bill has, whether people like it or they don't like it. Um, they win and they find a way to win. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. What about, uh, all right, going back to Brady, are you surprised? No. Not at I all. Think it, Me either. I'm. I'm not even. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm, not, a li- I'm a little yeah, surprised I'm not, just I'm with not. the looked, season that they had. By the way, didn't he look like he was like 23 years old, age wise? I don't know if it's like you know, like TB at the 12. Super Bowl. He's TB your best 12. friend. Well, no, I mean not yet, but he looked. He looked like he was young, 15 years younger than he ever has been when he was out well, there on the field this time. We, not, we were watching the side by side of Mahomes and him, and we were all laughing. We go, "Who looks younger?" Exactly. And it's like. Uh, and I looked up, like, kind of smiling. I'm like, oh, crap. Actually, Tom kind of looks younger than He does. Ever. That's what I was saying. I'm like, is but, he going to play I, five more years or what? Cole, Cole, this is the thing. I, and I've been telling people this. Yes, maybe a little bit more surprised because of the no off season, yada, yada, yada. Right. I personally, when I'm looking back at 2010, 11, and 12, when I was in New England, I think he's better now. In at 43 years old, I think his arms better too, right. which I didn't think, I didn't know that was possible. But like when he was, when he went to Tampa and people were like, ah, man, he's losing arm strength. And I'm like, man, get your eyes checked yeah. because you have never watched football in your life. Cause if, if you really believe that he's losing it, it's just must be, you don't like him. You're jealous of him. Because that same thing happened with the Michael Jordans, the LeBron James, the the greatest, the greatest players. I mean, we all do it. You just like either like the the best or you don't like the best. Yeah, yeah, it's a good way to put it. That's a really good way to put it. Well, I mean, I think you know when people are saying that. I mean, do you think Bill failed them later on in his career? Like, just setting. Like, look at the weapons that he had early on. Maybe you know. Mm. Maybe not like really, there, but when you got there, it was Moss, it was Welker. We were loaded. You know, we had we had guys oh, you could throw to. We loaded. had guys up front protecting them. You know, now it seems like his last three years in New England, the receiving core, name one to throw nice. the ball to. You know what I mean? Name one to throw the ball mm-hmm. to. Running backs, I think he had some running backs, but they but were, you can't you can't live off that. Right. Bl- just blitz the will. Yeah. Blitz the will all game. That's what that's what I would do when and and people were talking about it his last year. So last year in new England, I was like, guys, 
you have to have people that can win one-on-one matchups because you can't keep Edelman in there because they're just going to double him because they know they're not going to cover him one-on-one with a linebacker or a safety or even your nickel. Well, guess what? They just did that all game. And then it's like, oh, we can also just blitz the will because then James has to stay in. Oh, and then who are we going to throw it to? Mm -hmm. I I don't know the names. Mm -hmm. Like, I just don't know the names. So did he... Did he make it tough on him? I mean, you could you could argue. <laughs> you you could argue there were I mean, Julian's good, but like he He can't do it. When alone. you're playing when you're playing the slot, you can double. There's so many different ways you can double. And and you have and then you have James. It's like, well, you can chip him. You can do this, you can do that. And then it's like, all right. Well, and and I have nothing against Harry or or Myers or I have nothing against those guys, but they're not Brandon Lloyd. Mm. They're, 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 I mean, they're not Dion Branch who can get open at will. They're not Randy Moss who can take the top off. Yep. You know, like you start going through all these names and you're like, oh yeah, that's, oh, well, that, that, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, and guess what? We also had Wes. So we had Wes, Julian, Gronk. I was wondering if you were to yeah. say the name. Uh, I remember well, actually 81 or yeah. <laughs> I remember actually when like, you know, when, when you were there, right. Being like, yeah, oh, woodhead guy. That's great. Like we don't really need him though. <laughs> you know, like, there's no real, I say we, sorry. You know, like yeah. I was like, you know, the Pats don't really need this guy. Like just, Hey, once in a while, like block a linebacker. That's like, you know, make, just keep Tom like safe. Once in a while, mm-hmm. like, and, and if you need yeah. to, like, pop out and like catch a screen pass every once in a while, but the weapons are going down the field, you know. But then, hey, here he comes. And no, I got you're I mean, a stud. When he came in, and it's just like he's just like you, the little white running back, you know, the guy mm-hmm. that probably shouldn't have been there. the The fans loved you. They absolutely they loved did. you. I mean, <laughs> they did. I'm How, pretty sure yeah. I have a jersey, by but, the way. Yeah, there was a lot of, <laughs> lot of sure there was a lot of yeah. 39 jerseys in the stadium. They're absolutely there right. Was. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. hurt to leave at some point. You know, oh, I mean, so, you build up that yeah. reputation and that, you know, that relationship with the, you know, the fans too. My, I would say it, the hardest thing to leave was obviously the locker room because our locker room was awesome. Was I don't cool. care what anyone say, like. People say, oh. People in New England are miserable. The players, yeah, we were miserable sometimes, you know. But we, we, if if so, we had a great group of guys to be miserable together with. True. Like I don't think it was always miserable, but like anywhere I've been, when you're playing 16 weeks, it's miserable. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care where you are. Mm-hmm. Like you can be in San Diego and it's sunny throughout the whole year. It gets miserable at times. It's just a long season. Um, but the locker room was great. That was the, the toughest thing to leave was the locker room. And and then obviously the fans. The fans were amazing to me. And I would say now, um, I still it's kind of crazy. I still feel the love from New England fans. Like I have New England fans reaching out to me all the time on social media. And I I engage with it because like I have that's that's where everything started. That's where my whole career really started. The Jets deal is two years of just whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. How but many New England's where it started? Which which fan base has more jerseys yours out there? We just said that. Like, do you think New England still has oh, more? I'm, I'm, I'm San going San to go San Diego. Well, I mean, we could probably check. Dude, like, how many? How much money do you guys make on the jersey sales? Is there a piece there? Is there's there a, a piece, piece of the sale? We we never there's see a piece, it. but we it's never not. See it. Yeah, so you can't actually run a report and figure that it's, out. It's <laughs> absolutely precious to say that you even have a piece of that, unless you're like a Tom or Mahomes. Then you're gonna yeah. get you're gonna get some money, but it's yeah. still not what it should be. Um, Are you? Thinking I don't know. San Diego? I, I think that's a flip of the coin. I okay. mean, I I was well a little bit more well known probably when i was in san diego a little but, bit longer a uh, little bit longer yes it, but i mean we had a great fan base in new england and i will say new england fans embrace me like crazy mm-hmm. what's the hardest hit you took i always like to I, this is what i like to ask dan too like you know who was the toughest guy you went up against like who had your number but like for you you know you were you know we'll stay on the theme you know little yeah. running back in the backfield 
I mean, I got to imagine somebody took an absolute shot at you that you just were like, get me off of this field immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so I, I would be <laughs> like, get, let I me mean, leave. I, I was concussed in Tampa and got a, up a little woozy, but that wasn't the, the one that hurt that I, I still remember to this day. And Dan's going to be like, why do you remember that? But it was my first year in New England. We were playing Thanksgiving Day against the Lions. And we were on like a jet special. You remember jet yeah, special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, I don't know, third and four, third and five, because it was a man beater. And I ended up getting, I don't know, seven or whatever. Like I had to cut back in order to get it. But waiting, not waiting there, he was coming full speed was Lewis Delmas. He's a 5'9", 195, 200 pounder. That was one of the hardest hits I've ever experienced. He didn't like blow me up. It was pretty much a stalemate, but it hurt Mm -hmm. and it hurt bad. I was like, and and people are always saying like, man, isn't it tough going against those, you know, the Will Fork types, the 350 pounders. It's like, no, that's like, they're just kind of rolling on you and stuff like that. And you're like, it's kind of, it's kind of gross, but it's, it's not like a it's real soft. big hit. It's like, t- it's like getting hit by a bean bag instead of getting hit yeah, by a piece like, of iron. Have, <laughs> like, I, I don't know if you remember like water beds back in the day. It's just like <laughs> yeah, a water bed on the football field. You know, yeah, you just got, that's, it's what, just that's what it was below the, uh, below the, uh, the, the, uh, the liner is just fat. Just yeah. rolling around. Yeah, it just on rolls you. on. Instead, yeah. it's there a, you go. Getting hit by that guy, it's All like right. he he has two percent body fat. It's getting he getting hit by a big piece of muscle. <laughs> it was it was and Louis Delmos was probably running about a four or five coming yeah. downhill, yeah. and then the, that was before the crazy rule changes, and it was just helmet on helmet, and it was like, wow, that doesn't feel good. I remember mm-hmm. Welker telling me one time, and obviously he's going across the middle and taking all those hits. And yeah. he just sort of like he 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 timed it up where he, his body went limp, and he just absorbed everything. And he come bounce back up. He's like, I didn't feel a thing. And right. when you look at it in TV, and you know, looks like it hurts. And actual speed, and those guys, like you said, yeah. you know, running four or five at you, like his body is reverberating. Oh like yeah, you can see it shaking the whole way through, mm-hmm. and he just bounces back up. Did you like absorb that too? Yeah, and except I, except the Delman I, one. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. That that one. That was. There's no absorption. Not at all, but I would say maybe a little, but I think more than anything and Wes did it. Julian's done it. Um, a lot of, I've seen a lot of guys, uh, James White does it. I always, so if, if I'm running through the middle and there's like three guys, I'm, I'm not going to try to Adrian Peterson, Derek Henry, you, I'm just not. Cause even those guys, if there's three guys, it's going to be a stalemate and mm-hmm. you're not going to get any more yards. What I found out, is you could do the same thing and just hang on to the ball and dive at their legs. Cause you get an extra yard or two mm-hmm. and you don't take a shot and they hate it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, Hey bro, not only am I going to cut you if you try to rush Tom, I'm also going to cut you when you try to tackle me. <laughs> like yeah. I'm going to make it hurt. So you don't want it. You just want to get out of the way. Everybody, save the legs. Yeah, Nobody the, wants you going at the, their legs. The Civil Never. War bowling ball, uh, the cannonball that they shoot, and then you see it round, you know, bounding through the crowd, and it like yeah. takes off a leg. Yeah, yeah that's no. that's it right there. Yeah. Extra couple yards every time. You, you don't have to. That. That's it, buddy. You want to do the lightning round? We made this game up. We made I, up the. the, I, I we, made, the we, we started we, this we, lightning yeah, round. We made this game up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a couple I can't questions. Have a lightning round ready. Look, hey, he's coming on. Let's do the whole thing. Wow, Why Dan not? wrote these down. This there is, we go. Let's see the mug we, real quick. We, we can, really we see that? can we see that mug one more time that you just had? Yep, Look I love that. mom. Yeah, that's my awesome. mom. You just this made is, both uh, of us look bad. Thanks. I think we got that Max. for uh, my wife for Mother's Day, and yeah. I'm drinking out of it. That's perfect. It's, it's a big perfect. mug. Got it? Got enough coffee in there? Well, bro, I live off of caffeine. I lived off of caffeine when I played. And I live off of caffeine now. I have four kids. You got to find a way to stay afloat. Mm. How, how, old is he, how old are the kids? Nine, seven, five, and three. Oh, uh, you're in a tunnel. You are in a oh. dark hole. Yeah. I am. Yeah. See you and, it's, and it's just like you it's just try to retire. find your way out. Yeah. You find your way out. You're just looking. How do you have this time available right now? No, and, no wonder he said, no, he said, hey, uh, if, oh, I, I'm busy now, honey. Uh, I'm going to yeah. be busy from 3.30 to 10 tonight. Yeah. I have mother yes. interview. I can't do it. <laughs> All right. And can I have your mug? Is that all right if I drink coffee out of your mug? Exactly. Lightning round. Favorite right. teammate. Favorite. Oh, and it's not you. I can't you know what? That. I I had a follow up to that, and I was like, if he's smart, he's just going to say me right now. Yeah. I knew no, you were a smart I, guy. Sorry. Favorite teammate. 
favorite teammate. Gosh, dang! That's it, this isn't even lightning round. There's two. It was probably All right, give me uh, two. You can get two. Hey, it's Our right. lightning round usually goes <laughs> like a long time. So. You'll be here till ten. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah. So I, I don't have to feel bad. Um, probably the fa- one of my favorite guys to play with, like on the field. He's a great dude. Dude was Philip. Because I was at a different time in my career. When I was in New England, I was just like looking around, like, who are they going to fire me? So like, people ask like. What was Tom like? Well, I don't really know because at that time I wasn't even trying to get to know him. I was trying. I was. I was scared. I didn't want to get invited into Bill's office to bring my playbook. Whereas when I was in New or San Diego, I was, I was much more established. Mm-hmm. And I and I think too probably the organization there. I my personality, the personality that like you or uh, Conley Wendell light those guys they saw that was starting to come out throughout the organization whereas i was like that around you guys but then once it was like practice i'm like shut up don't talk you didn't do that with ivan no i will his his hairy ears scared the (laughs) heck out of me and i'm like oh no his is his hair gonna get me (laughs) <laughs> don't act like you didn't uh, see those, bro. Oh God, I, he used to sit in front of front of me in life, and you could just look down. And you definitely, uh, you know, I loved eyes. Did you but get man, along with those ear, those ear hair? It's, just, it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. He could hear you at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how our lightning round goes, by the way. But so is it filled too? Because you guys both have like a, a pile of kids, like because yeah, how many it, does it could he be have? that too. I'm not going for nine or ten nine? kids. Does he have nine or ten kids? He has nine. Oh my um, gosh! But I, uh, we were just we were a sprinter a, van. I, I would be I I would be on the Peloton like twelve hours a day. <laughs> just be gone. I wouldn't. I would. Be, I'm busy, hon. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, I think the biggest thing, like I said, was I was able to build a rapport and relationship with him. Whereas when I was in New England, it was year three, four, and five, which was almost like one, two, and three of getting to play. It's like, I just didn't want to mess anything up. And it's like, am I allowed to talk to Tom? I didn't know. No. Yeah. Did you, know? did you have that moment though, at. besides getting yelled at the first week in, in practice, did you have that moment where you walk in and it's like, oh shit, that's, that's Tom. Yeah. I, I did have a, a weird moment, not a weird moment, but I was like, it was just a tip. Oh, that's Tom Brady. And he's the quarterback of the team I'm playing for, for at least a week, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then, and then we get out on the field and I'm like, what is going on? Like I didn't do anything to you. Yeah. Get your autograph and the now. Coach, the coaches were cool with me, and even even Bill was cool with me. Yeah, I, I I felt I felt like I was much more scared of Tom that first week than Billy O or or Bill Belichick mm-hmm. or Ernie. Oh god, <laughs> we still don't know Light- what Ernie does. The lightning round questions take five minutes for us. That's how do you? Tr- how right, so question number two: How do you trust a man that doesn't cuss, doesn't curse? Who doesn't curse? Rivers does not. Oh, curse. that's right. Yeah. Say, gosh, gosh, darn by the way, it. I love watching him yeah, on like gosh, the uh, gosh the, darn it on the NFL up. films, the mic'd up yeah, that, or yeah. the NFL films it's mic'd the be- up. It's the best. Like doggone it, and like he he talks he, more shit than anybody yeah. on the field. He is, and that's another reason why he was so fun to play with because I, I hated him before I went there. Can't stand him. Bron- if you're playing bron- against him, he's the most annoying person mm-hmm. in the world. I hated him, and then he ended up being like obviously one of the best teammates I had, but one of the best people and like dads and husbands, you're like, Oh, huh, I have to like him now because, yeah. cause, but, but like on the field. So this is, this is what was fun. I remember my first year there. We're obviously in the, you know, in the honeymoon phase of me being there and we disagreed on something. He tried to tell me to run a screen place. Like you should have went outside and he starts yelling at me. So I started yelling back. We're on the field. We're playing the Broncos and we're getting in the huddle and we're still yelling back and forth. Wiz and Hunt's trying to give Phil the play. We're still yelling at each other. Hardwick has to come over and split us up on the field and we had to take a timeout. Was it like, at Denver? What? No, it was at home. Uh, no, it was, it was, though. It was no at home. Swears. Oh, hey, what, hey, what, what, what year was that? It was, that would have been 13. 13, oh, that was, all right, 12 was my first year. That was 12, we had the the comeback uh, comeback win in San Diego. All right. Because yeah. I remember so, I saw you on the field in, in 13 in Denver, I think. 
Yes, that's where it was. Did you guys in, exchange jerseys? No, we just hugged. Okay. It was great. Yeah, you know, yeah, just, it was really just for good a second. Hug. But I remember that Denver, the Denver game, like he was one of the most, so everyone knows Tom's competitive. Phil's right there with him. Yeah. Except we had a little bit different relationship. And I remember scoring on a touchdown or on an angle route or something. And we didn't even look at each other really. <laughs> like we're just not even, it's just, but but we had the relationship where we could do it. And then afterwards, you know, he comes up, he's like, bro, I'm sorry. Uh, he's, he goes, I love you. I go, I love you too, man. I go, that's all right. We can fight. And then there were multiple times we fought and, but he was still one of the most fun to play with. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have rivers or Brady as a quarterback? Well, come on. That, yeah, that's tough. I mean, hey, I mean, it's, it's a lightning round. It's no, a lightning, lightning round. round. It's a quick answer. It oh, yes. It can be yes or no. Yeah, or, or, yes. or one no, or the other. It, uh, that's yeah. not a yes or no. no. <laughs> yes or no. no. Uh, yeah, gotcha. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to answer. <laughs> no, no, I would <laughs> Just say leave it there. I, yeah. I had a better, obviously, if we're there's a lightning round, Danny. Don't explain Super yourself. Bowl, it's Tom Brady, but I just had a, I had a better relationship with Phil. Best round of golf. But Phil's 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 not far off though. Best round of golf. Yep. Uh, Sixty five. Oh, is that what's is your, that is that the handicap? next goal? What's your handicap? I was gonna uh, ask. This. Right now, it's a plus like one eight. It was at a plus Ooh. three two, but that was that was a little fake because swing. I had a good he, night. He, he, oh, he can swing. We were gonna bring you up it. for something for some event, but don't bring him to the member game. I don't I wanna go to your no, member. Of guest, course, so. of course you should still. <laughs> oh we will. You'll, he, you'll be up here, don't worry. He he yeah. can he can swing it. We pay for the flight too. That's how it works. Love it. That's yeah. hot. All right. I like it. Coming in. Best Peloton output. Oh, another tough question. Uh, so I I'm only in the thirty minutes. I don't do forty I've done a forty five. I mean I do them all now. Do, do you have you oh. done a have you done, you haven't done a sixty? We, we just did a sixty did, we on just Monday. Sixties yesterday. It's hard. Twenty two miles. It's hard. Jen Sherman too. She swears at you. she swears at you the whole time. Calls you. Does a jerk. she? Oh, yeah. she's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> like we're more Kendall guys, and like you know we're Kendall and Olivia Motto, and like you, you know like mostly Emma? thirty minutes. Oh yeah, Emma's oh, good, yeah. I love Emma. Yeah, I think Emma's awesome. Yeah, I I don't know what my bet. I think four fifty three on a thirty minute. I'm not up in the. That's Lineman. good. Though. That's Stuff. good. See, thank That's you. That's good. I would have thought he was powerful probably, legs. Yeah, I would have thought you would be a little bit higher than that. We got to get him in the group. No, I think. So. Remember, yeah. I'm five foot eight. Hashtag past our prime. Yeah, what's on your the what's your seat height? Feel free at. to join. <laughs> what's your seat height? <laughs> Dan, <Denver laughs> <and the seat, laughs> uh, yeah, my seats like are you the twenties. All the way down. No, it's like a twenty. I think it's twenty six. I think it's. Oh, it's fi- not that I bad. think it's five year old rides at the same height. <laughs> he jumps on. Yeah. No. Can no, no, you no, put no, my no. seat back? That little higher. So we're in a <laughs> competition five- right now. By the way, for most miles in February, and then the loser has to jump in the ocean in in Rhode Island on March first. Yeah. And that might what be I, a little cold. Well, what I didn't realize is I do a full time thing here where I direct sales for like the company, and Dan yeah. works one hour a week, that- so he's literally on the bike the entire day. <laughs> So then, so then I have to go you home. Just go do multiple rides. Oh yeah! Look how no. many he did today. Follow him today. He's probably done nine rides. Well, I just today. did uh, three hour long low impacts. <laughs> That's what he does. Hey, you got to build it up. Hey, no That's one said right. any rules. Yeah, no one said rules. All, the only thing was miles. Total miles. So he's at and like that's two, how it should be. So he's at two ninety so far for the month. No, on I'm miles. At, no, I'm on three thirteen. <laughs> three thirteen for the month. It's uh, it's the ninth day of the month. I'm at two twenty. It's the ninth. You're at yeah. three thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. Yeah. Hey, Danny, I did twenty nine miles during the Super Bowl, just sitting there pedaling. On the and no, you were you were for three and yeah. a half quarters. I just pedaled, and he was texting me the whole time too. And I'm like, oh, he's probably sitting on the couch too, watching the games. No way he's riding the bike. He's riding the bike. Oh, yeah. Benedict Arnold over here. Yeah. We we're supposed to have a truce on that day to not put more miles on. There was no truce. That, so the now truce was the night amazing. before. The truce was yeah. the night before. Don't don't get truce was the night before. We the were truce texting. Was the night before. I took a picture in the beginning of the game. Yeah. I was like, uh, I'm just gonna wait to send this until after the game. Yeah. So then I had to get That's on the bike amazing. at 11:45 at night and try to get a few miles in before going to bed. <laughs> You're down 90 right now. Yeah. <laughs> tonight I'm, I'm gonna get. That. I'm gonna chew back some miles tonight though. I'm going hard tonight well, i'm doing probably three or four 30 minute rides that's good because i did three this afternoon <laughs> <You can catch up. laughs> 
my favorite now is turning on Netflix and just cruising at around a 45 <laughs> resistance for like an hour and a half and watch like three episodes of something. This so, is, get yeah, ready. I'm just, I'm within the rules. It's yeah, about By the way, miles, still it. during that, like leaking sweat the whole oh, time. God, yes. like, oh, God, just pouring. It's just like a puddle. It's yeah. like, that's the worst at the end though, depending on where you're, you keep your bike, but you're like, gosh. There's just it's like a puddle of sweat, and then so all gross. over it, there's so much sweat. I haven't it's washed so the bike once. I want it to be disgusting. My, I want it to just be caked in like sweat, <laughs> skin. My wife, blood. my wife, my wife came uh, came down after I was on it for an hour and a half, and actually got that one of those squirt like uh, Swifter, the squirt <laughs> Swifter, <laughs> and was yeah. was was cleaning up while I'm still yeah. riding because it was just a. Puddle of mess. Oh, I, I'm but, I'm riding the bike, and there was a window right beside mine the other day. Yeah, I'm riding yeah. the bike, and I finally pull the shade open. I'm cruising around. I'm looking. I look outside. There's somebody standing outside the window, walking up to the window with a camera. It's Dan. He took a video of me. I'm out there on the bike, no shirt, no shirt, like short shorts, short shorts on, just short so, shorts. Like, I can't believe it. it so, well, it's getting yeah. it's getting stupid. I mean, we gotta it, get it's, you it's, in the. It's, we gotta get him stupid. in the crew. We gotta get him in the crew. I, I think so. That- all right. That's so awesome. What, would yeah. you? I mean, if it's total number of miles, what do you do? I mean, yeah. he's, he's you saying you he's find like, ways to get he, miles no matter what. Yeah. Well, are you he's, riding every day? Are you riding every day or every other day? Yeah. Well, so I have a treadmill too. So depending on, I mean, I was riding every day, and then I my back, I had a hip flexor issue. So I anytime I would ride the bike, my back would be terrible. So I'm just the last two weeks i've just started riding again because oh, i was good. going all right he's coming back i like it oh, no, i'm coming back for the week i, I mean, will i will the bike's the best because i mean my joints just feel so much better how much better do you feel not playing bro it's the most amazing feeling ever so people and and i i enjoyed football i love to complain but i really actually enjoyed playing the game of football and I felt like I played with a passion and enthusiasm to where like, Oh, people watching like, yeah, that kid actually enjoys it. When I was done, I have never been so happy in my life. Like my body feels amazing. I don't have to, you're carrying a, a backpack full of stress around. Like I remember when I retired, I was like, Oh, so what? I don't have to worry about a GM or a head coach. Like what, what do I do? And it was, it was kind of weird that first year, but once you like find your rhythm or your routine, it's incredible. Yeah. A lot I, I of life to it. live. A lot of life to live. Well, here's hoping you get a hip flexor in the next couple of weeks. That's, <laughs> no, that's what I know. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll figure I, out I, a if way. I, to if ride there that would have been bike. miles, I would have fought through it and just been like, figured out, Danny. Doesn't matter how. Oh, well, maybe we do a March backers. challenge. I, maybe I, we do a March I, challenge. I actually don't want to do a March. I don't want to do a March challenge. I'm telling you, Dan is I, I, shredding weight off right now, too. I don't even want to give him that compliment, but he's going to be like 230 by the end of this thing. I, I, I love it. <laughs> or I might be in a box. I might, might be, be in the box. I've been actually a little bit worried about that, like watching you like burn. And then he sent me a picture during the Super Bowl, and the heart rate monitor was on the screen. It said 225. <laughs> no, I didn't have, I I did, I didn't have it on. I, I almost didn't, called I didn't 911. Have, I didn't have it on. Yeah, we're going to be like those guys that run 10 miles a day and just fall over of a heart attack. Yeah, I know. It's not good. It's not <laughs> yeah, good. Exactly. Well, that's, that's Cause of death, Peloton. Yeah, that's exactly. It. That's well, what killed it. Yeah, we get some money there. All right, Danny, what's your favorite Gatorade color? Last question. This is it. This is our uh, final. Favorite Gatorade color? Mm-hmm. It's like a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a teal. It's oh, not no. a. That's a bad oh, answer. Not a, that's a bad. It's probably frost. You are or way something. too young. I think it, it is might, frost. Yeah, no. I bad, think it is. I'm, I'm not into that's the not red, original. yellow. I can do light blue. That's no, not original. Not a red or a yellow, you said? Is that at not? All? Wait, so it's red, red yellow. Red, orange. Red, yellow, red orange, yellow. Orange, I think. That's the original yeah. three. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, we got them up here. Oh, out of those, it would be yellow without a doubt. Okay, so Damn good, it. good answer. All right, Dan's red. What, what are you, what are you? I'm yellow uh, all day. Orange, normal. No, I'm red. Ooh. Yeah, well, orange. red. <laughs> I'm red. I was thinking orange. Yeah, I'm red. Right, what? Well, that's what we got. I mean, that's a good, that's Danny, a good solid. That was, Danny, by the way, that, that was ten fun, minutes. Man. Thanks yeah. for the ten minutes today. I'm glad you could squeeze <laughs> us in in your busy day. Hey, well, you know, it's looking around. I got a lot to do. So <laughs> uh, we have uh, some Barbies on the floor that I probably won't. I mean, I'm not going to clean it up. No. Um, and I have a papa shot that maybe I'll go. Can you play golf right on. now where you live? 
Can you? Are you so, able to? No, or like, no it's, it's the weather freezing right now. Yeah, okay, that's what I was. Thinking. Usually, yeah. there are times in February, like last last year in February, I played, but this year we got like some crazy full, cold front, mm. like craziness. So yeah, crazy. The, for the, the club that I uh, joined, the, the club I'm at, they have like indoor facility to where like they have track man stuff like that. You, they're like hitting bays. You can hit into a net, and then when it gets warmer, then you open the garage and you can hit, you okay. know, out, outdoors. So Sounds it's a, fun. it's better than, uh, it's better than nothing. Let's set up a trip. I, we got to get out of here. So let's set up a trip. I know. Seriously, go anywhere. Just get me. Go anywhere. I don't care. Hey, we're up do, for do it. Do you guys? Do you guys play some golf in the summer? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lots. I'm the worst one that we're in speaking yep. right now. I'm the worst. Tips actually. Pretty I good. don't play that much during the work week, but yeah. Yeah, there, we play. We do play golf every once in a while. Once every four months, we play. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do. We get out there a lot. What's the most? I mean, you played a lot this year. I got seventy. I'm usually around seventy, probably around a year near that though in New England, I which is that's, oh, that's a lot that's for New England. Really good. Yeah, because I mean, remember, I'm not playing for five months. I might be going on a trip somewhere to play, but. Yeah, during those. That, those that's times. that's yeah. a good amount of rounds. That's though. a lot of yeah, rounds. So, so, you, so yeah. you like golf? That's a that's lot of rounds. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a th- I'm usually I'm I'm usually between a two and a four. I'm like a three. Oh yeah, right you can now. play for sure. Yeah. yeah, well we'll go play. So you got to give me strokes though, which is amazing. <laughs> you don't get that very often. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be nice. So hey, we'll do you, do you belong up. to Dan? Do you belong to a club or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm up uh, Wanna Moisten. Have you heard of that one? In, it's a I, I didn't play much when I was there. I was so scared uh, of everything. Right. Bill you, made me you, scared of everything. Yeah, you had to keep your job. I forgot. I forgot. It was either Bill or Ernie. I don't know. Yeah. No, we're at a club. He's at yeah. a club, and I, I I was at his club before, but went back to where I was before. And we got to do some home and homes. Fantastic we'll course. You'd love it. Yeah. yeah. Donald I Ross on 128. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a nice course. Yeah, it's tough. We too. we the club I belong to is Omaha Country Club out here. They're having their second senior open, the U.S. Senior Open this summer. Oh, Let's check go. his gin number, Max. We'll pull it's, it up. It's a we'll Perry Maxwell. Real, real sick. Gin. Check it out. We they know have, your club now. We know They have the Northeast Amateur up here every year. That's where. Oh, they do have. they really? Yeah, yeah. Morikawa so won course. it like two years ago. I mean, they have yeah, some. Tiger's been there. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. Well, this Kuchar, is a trip. This is a. We just guys. planned it. We just planned. I'm this. excited. This home, is a home. We'll and do a home and home. Home and home. I'm down with home and home. And then let's mix in a Florida swing. Heck yeah. Maybe maybe twelve can get us a seminal. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think he knows some people. Well, My, even well, if we and, can, we'll just and go, when I'm we'll, saying he we'll knows some people, he's somewhere. actually just Tom. Hey, we yeah. have uh, number 39, the white running back. Can, can we go <laughs> yeah. in, please? <laughs> exactly. That'll work. Yeah. That'll get us in. <laughs> hey, do you guys remember 39? <laughs> Who's 39? <laughs> you know yeah. the white running back. No, we don't. We yeah. have no idea who that is. Yeah, well, are, thanks, guys. Uh, we'll, Disney uh, mini golf. <laughs> we'll, we'll be in. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> See how many courses we can get shut out at. Yep, I love it. All well, right, buddy. Well, hey, we'll catch you. Co-host yeah. out of nowhere, where uh, wherever you stream your uh, podcast, from. we'll link to it. We'll link to it, Max, for him. Right? Hey, th- that'd All be right, beautiful. Boys. All right, that'd buddy. That'd be beautiful. Awesome time. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks, fellas. thanks for your ten see minutes. You. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Yeah. See ya. Fast Our Prime is brought to you by Squad Locker. Squad Locker is your one-stop shop for custom team apparel, delivered right to your front door. Learn more by visiting squadlocker.com.